mergers and acquisitions, let's say m and transactions, they involve the consolidation or combination of two or more companies into a single entity. Several salient features characterize these transactions. Let me share some important ones with you today. First, strategic intent. m and transactions typically occur with a strategic purpose in mind, such as expanding market share, entering new markets, diversifying products or services, gaining competitive advantages, or achieving economies of scale. Second, valuation. Yes, the valuation of the target company is a crucial aspect of an M&A transaction. It involves determining the fair price or exchange ratio for the target's shares or assets, taking into account factors like financial performance, growth potential, synergies, and market conditions. Third, due diligence. Yes, very important one. Prior to completion of an m and deal, the acquirer conducts thorough due diligence on the target company. This process involves assessing the target's financial, legal, operational, and commercial aspects to identify risks, opportunities, and any potential obstacles to the transaction. Four, negotiation and agreement. m and transactions require negotiation between the uh, acquiring and target companies to reach a, a mutually acceptable agreement. Key terms such as the purchase price, payment structure, representations and warranties and conditions precedent are, I would say, you know, typically uh, the most important uh, ingredients of the agreement or to form a definitive agreement. Five, regulatory and legal considerations. m and transactions are subject to various regulatory and legal considerations. These may you know, include uh, obtaining regulatory approvals from government bodies, uh, compliance with antitrust and competition laws, securities regulations, tax implications, and the, the drafting of legal documents such as merger agreements and disclosure agreements or statements, if I may say so. Apart from these, there are a few more key features attached to an M&A transaction, such as financing, integration. You know, after the acquisition, the integration of the acquiring and target companies become a critical phase. Then stakeholder management. m and transactions impact various stakeholders, including shareholders, employees, customers, vendors, suppliers, and, and the broader community. Effective stakeholder management, communication, and uh, change management strategies uh, are, are essential to address uh, concerns, mitigate risks, and, and ensure a smooth transition. Finally, post-merger performance. The success of an m and transaction is ultimately measured by the post-merger performance of the combined entity. Well, each m and transaction is unique and the specific features and considerations can differ depending on you know, factors such as industry, uh, the transaction size, geographical location, and the objectives of the involved parties. That's all for today. I'll see you again with another topic of interest. Thank you.